So this is last assembly brochure. I'm a staff member at the Budapest Instrument Center and the instrument scientist of this PGA lip station. So my name is Tomasz Berdia and I am the uh, uh, leader of this uh, uh, program activation group which is working on, on the instruments you can see here. So the nutrients are coming from that direction to fly to the beam path to the beam stop and there are two sample chambers where we can install our samples. One is here which is for the PGA system there is another one here for the MIPS detector. This is a neutron tomography camera that detects the transmitted beam uh, through the sample which is placed inside the 20 by 20 centimeter sample chamber. So then here, here is a sample, we, uh, we, many times we are using the powder samples, you can see how can we fit into the uh, uh, sample chamber. The neutrons are irradiating the sample, which is uh, in a, a, about a, a, a tenth of a gram in, in reality, and uh, of the irradiated sample, uh, up, uh, nuclei gets excited and this is high energy gamma radiation. High energy gamma radiations are then measured by uh, the gamma ray detection system which is uh, shielded against the neutrons and also against the, the gamma rays and uh, provides us the necessary information. spectra what we collect in the acquisition computers, the energy of the energy peaks in the spectra is characteristic for the elements in the sample and the uh, area of the peaks are characteristic for the mass of the elements in the sample. It's this way we can determine the elemental composition of any kind of sample without destroying them. This is a program that uh, monitors the incoming beam intensity. You can see here very well how the beam was switched on and off during the last uh, measurement period. Uh, this system we use to study uh, any kind of liquid solid or powder or the gases materials, especially the composition. But the main job is uh, to provide elemental analysis for samples, for geological uh, purposes, archaeometric purposes, and we also be works in material science. And uh, the, one of the most important job we are doing here is uh, so-called in-beam catalysis. In, in this work we can study the hydrogen content of the catalyst inside a, a working uh, a chemical reactor and we can determine the amount of, uh, of hydrogen which is uh, uh, captured by the catalyst and we determine the functionality of the whole catalyst system. The other works are also very important and uh, uh, very well welcomed, especially the archaeometric work. In this work we are uh, measuring uh, mainly uh, uh, stone tools. We were able to build up a nice data library for those uh, cheap stone tools which can be found in the neighboring region and we can determine the uh, origin Stones. After the measurement, we can give back the sample without any change, so then uh, other people can continue their work with the sample.